to Major General Sam Houston, February 25, 1836. Headquarters, Fort of the Alamo. Sir, on the 23rd of February, the enemy in large force entered the city of Bear, which could not be prevented, as I had not sufficient force to occupy both positions. Colonel Bardas, the adjutant major of the President General Santa Anna, demanded a surrender at discretion, calling us foreign rebels. I answered them with a cannon shot, upon which the enemy commenced a bombardment with a five-inch howitzer, which, together with a heavy cannonade, has been kept up incessantly ever since. I instantly sent express to Colonel Fannin at Goliad and to the people of Gonzales and San Felipe. Today at 10 o'clock a.m., some two or three hundred Mexicans crossed the river below and came up under cover of the houses until they arrived within virtual point-blank shot when we opened a heavy discharge of grape and canister on them, together with a well-directed fire from small arms which forced them to halt and take shelter in the houses about ninety or a hundred yards from our batteries. The action continued to rage about two hours when the enemy retreated in confusion dragging away many of their dead and wounded. During the action, the enemy kept up a constant bombardment and discharge of balls, grape, and canister. We know from actual observation that many of the enemy were wounded, while we, on our part, have not lost a man. Two or three of our men have been slightly scratched by pieces of rock, but have not been disabled. I take great pleasure in stating that both officers and men conducted themselves with firmness and bravery. Lieutenant Simmons of Cal- Cavalry, acting as infantry, and Captains Carey, Dickinson, and Blair of the artillery rendered essential service, and Charles Despellier and Robert Brown gallantly sailed out and set fire to houses, which afforded the enemy shelter in the face of enemy fire. Indeed, the whole of the men who were brought into action conducted themselves with such heroism that it would be injustice to discriminate. The Honorable David Crockett was seen at all points animating the men to do their duty. Our numbers are few, and the enemy still continues to approximate his works to ours. I have every reason to apprehend an attack from his whole force very soon, but I shall hold out to the last extremity, hoping to secure reinforcements in a day or two. Do hasten on aid to me as rapidly as possible, as from the superior number of the enemy it will be impossible for us to keep them out much longer. If they overpower us, we fall a sacrifice at the shrine of our country, and we hope prosperity and our country will do our memory justice. Give me help, O my country, victory or death. William Barrett Travis, Lieutenant Colonel Commander.